how meditation has changed my life. So I want you guys to realize first and foremost, meditation is not an exercise. Meditation is a way of life. Meditation is how you live your everyday life. And in my opinion, there are two types of people in this world. There are people who are meditative and there are people who are unconsciously going through their lives. And obviously there's a sliding scale to it. But in general, that's what differentiates people in my opinion. So how has meditation changed my life? It is, it is a way of life. It is a way of thinking. And the first thing I want you to realize is that every thought you have is an actual reality. Every thought you have is going to dictate some subconscious actions and is going to show off in your appearance. Your subconscious mind, your imagination literally controls so much of you. And if you don't believe me, I want to tell you a story. And I've told this story so many times, but I have to keep coming back to the same stories because that's the frame of reference from which I understand the world. And for me, it was for months on end, I basically stopped regarding my life. I stopped caring about my own life. I didn't care if I died. I really didn't care. All right. It started off as, um, it started off as, as minor drug issues. It started off as um, issues with my family members, issues with my parents, issues with my friends, falling out. And as things got a little bit worse, I stopped caring about myself. And at one point, I just stopped caring about my own life because I felt like nobody else cared about myself. So why would I care about myself? It started off as a thought. It started off as, I don't care about myself. That's all it started off as. Probably started off as like one day, one thought, why do I even matter? But I let that thought become the main paradigm. I let that thought become the main paradigm and shifted towards it for months on end. Bro, I stopped taking care of myself. I stopped eating at one point. I was just waking up with lines of blow, just taking the Addies every single day popping Xanax every single night, all because of one day, one thought that I don't care about myself. Bro, started fucking jerking off every day, stopped cleaning up my room, stopped washing my face, brushing my teeth, stopped all the essential shit. I would do it here and there, but like not consistently. And the next thing you know, I'm waking up in a hospital bed with a catheter on my dick and a breathing mask on. And at that point, I was still in denial. You know, I overdosed. I was still in denial. I was like, no, nah, no, there's no way this is real. My friends brought me in here and I, I shouldn't be in here. I'm like, they fucked up. They, they, they didn't need to bring me in here. This was unnecessary. But when they started explaining to me what actually happened, that I was turning purple, that I wouldn't get up, I wasn't moving, and that I pretty much barely had any pulse. It kinda, it kinda made me realize like, I, I, I was still in denial to be honest. Like I was still in denial. I was still in denial. 
that I that I that I needed to be in the hospital. But it's crazy how that happens. Cause you don't think you don't think enough. That's it. You don't think enough. You don't analyze your own thoughts. You don't think that your own thoughts are going to actually dictate reality. And you don't realize how they affect other people. There's a reason I live life the way I do. It's because I don't want to wake up in a hospital bed again. I don't want to make my mom cry like that again. I don't want to upset my dad like that again. I don't want to destroy anybody else's life. But that all starts with your own thoughts. I ended up in that hospital bed and I was like, this is ludicrous. It all started with my own thoughts. Me not having regard for my own life. And then what really made me realize the gravity of the situation was when I started thinking about how it affected other people. Because your thoughts don't just affect you, they affect, they affect reality and they affect other people. That's the reason I'm living life the way I am now. That's the reason why I'm treating my energy as sacred. That's the reason why I treat my routines as sacred. I never sacrifice in my wake up time. I never sacrifice on getting a workout in. I never sacrifice on my diet. Hardly ever sacrifice on making a YouTube video. I've been putting one up every single day. Meditation is going to change your life. Meditation is the way you live life. Meditation is the way you break free. And I always tell people, start small. You don't have to sit like this and do fucking breathing exercises. All you have to do is be still and analyze your own thoughts. No, don't even focus on anything. Don't try and not focus on anything. Just be still. Reduce the barrier to entry as much as possible. Because what you'll find out is that as you start doing things in silence, I always tell my coaching clients, start off eating in silence. Eat in silence. And what you're gonna find out is your subconscious mind starts playing out all these scenarios. Like you'll think about, a lot of times I'll be thinking about some random shit. Like about how I like fucking piss my pants in fifth grade. Some, some random traumatic experience that you think has no, or maybe not even traumatic, just some random experience that you think bears no weight on the present situation, but it absolutely does. And you can kind of, as your subconscious mind starts playing out these scenarios, because you're depriving your conscious mind of stimulation and you're allowing that subconscious mind to play, your subconscious mind will play like a movie if you let it. And what you'll find out is you start noticing the same patterns, the same people. And if you practice doing that for long enough, you are going to be able to make new connections in your brain. You are going to be able to break free think is guys on this channel you're like me you're like me watching this channel you're into self-development self-improvement you want to rise above the competition but because of that you overwork yourself you overstimulate yourself work is stimulation too the best way to work is to not work. 
the best way to get shit done is to get nothing done. For guys like us, for guys like you, for guys like me, we, we're just on top of the ball too much. We tend to be anxious people. And we're anxious because we never address those thoughts that come up. And when they come up, we move on to the next thing. Tough it out. The way to really tough it out is to sit in the fucking pain. As a man, you need to make every moment as painful as possible. Every moment is a test or a celebration. Every moment is a test of your ability to hold frame. That's why I'm so big on this masculinity shit. Because once you make that flip in your brain, you can literally change your life. Because you will start to identify all the subconscious thought patterns that have been holding you down in ways that you haven't even realized. Your subconscious mind controls everything. You can literally control your fucking digestion. You can control the world around you. You can control reality. And what you'll realize is once you start meditating, you will be able to see through things and see through people. Not literally, but metaphorically. You will be able to see scenarios play out before they even happen. Not because you have some sort of psychic power, but because you saw something in somebody or something that was already there. The seed was already planted there. And you know that because you've identified that seed before in something or somebody else. I'm reading this book right now. It's called The Way of Initiation. It's a tough ass read. One of the things that was talking about in the book is looking through a plant. If you look at a plant, you can see or you can know, right? Eventually that plant is going to drop a seed. Eventually that plant is going to die. It is going to drop a seed that plants the root for another plant that is going to grow to the same height. But yet, that is something we cannot see with our, with our eyes, but it is something that is 100% real. It is 100% real. So if a plant can drop a seed that, 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 that starts a whole nother plant, if a person can drop a seed in another person that starts a whole nother person, how the fuck can a thought not create a whole nother loop of thoughts? And how can a thought not create a whole nother loop of thoughts that become reality? I remember a couple months back, somebody asked me, somebody told me I'm a good public speaker. That's what they told me. And they asked me, how can I master my communication skills? I don't know shit about communication. All I know about is fucking mindset. And at the end of the day, everything comes back to mindset. Communication is 85% nonverbal. We get too caught up in the exact words that we say. I do it myself too when I'm recording these videos. 
I want to come off a certain type of way. I can't find the words that I feel like would really just hit. But a lot of times it's the videos where I'm just spitting out fucking, I'm spitting out the, the way I get my points across is fucking garbage. But I have this concept and I'm running with it and I'm sticking with it. A lot of times, those are my best videos. Those are the videos that people resonate with the most. Those are the videos that get the most traction. Whereas the videos where I feel like I just found the perfect words, the conviction is not there. The, the energy is not there behind it. 85% of communication is nonverbal. Words are a very imperfect way of expressing thoughts. Because that's what communication is, right? It's expressing thoughts to one another. Thoughts cannot be described in words perfectly. So in order to master communication, you have to master your energy. You have to master your intentions. That means having, treating your energy like sacred. That means not allowing for little disturbances, like the times when you check your phone, even if it's five seconds, while you know you're not supposed to be checking it. That means never missing a fucking workout, never missing on your diet, never missing on your sleep, because all those things are going to determine how your subconscious mind sees yourself. Your subconscious mind just sees you as another person. You are just a living entity. Your subconscious mind is the observer behind it. You're just like any other person. The only difference is you have, your subconscious mind is viewing you all day, all fucking day. but you're just like any other person. If you really want to communicate your thoughts with somebody else, you have to master your own thoughts. You have to master your own energy. Thoughts can literally become reality. And I've shown that in the most negative ways, but because I have seen how my thoughts literally affected my reality, in the most negative way, I know that it's only feasible that it can do the same in the positive direction. That's why I believe manifestation is real. I was talking to somebody yesterday or a couple days ago and I was just saying, it doesn't matter where you are right now. And I think that's something I'm, deter I'm figuring out in my own life. Right now where I am financially, it doesn't matter. Physically, it doesn't matter. Because it's not about the physical world. It's about what's going on up here. Life is about being and becoming, not acquiring. I'm real big on law of attraction and all that type of shit, I really believe, I really know that if you fix your intentions on something fully and you do it for long enough, you will acquire it within reason, within fucking reason. If the seed for germination is already there, right? Like I'm not gonna grow wings and start flying, but I can become a multimillionaire if I commit myself to it fully and just wait for my time to come. And if I don't, then who the fuck cares? Because life was not about acquiring that money. It was about becoming the person that is capable of doing such. But I really believe that it will happen. I really believe this channel is gonna hit a million subscribers one day. because I continue to align myself with my purpose. I continue to align myself with my vision. I moved down to Texas 
five months ago. When I moved down here, people probably thought I was stuck in my ways. People probably thought I was just coming here to get a little hideout. No. The only difference is between me now and me before I moved down here is now I'm even more stuck in my ways. I'm even more focused on my purpose. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in an even better mental state because I just continue to move closer to my purpose despite me having nobody, despite me being in a city where I know nobody. I just continue to align myself because I recognize that thoughts literally become reality. Your subconscious thoughts are going to dictate your energy in ways that you can't even pick up on. So rather than trying to control every fucking word, you're, 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 you're spitting out your mouth like a fucking robot. Rather than trying to control everything that is in the physical world, like the way you dress, the way you present yourself, I still think it's important to take care of yourself, but I think it's the energy behind it that really matters. Rather than trying to control every fucking thing, rather than trying to control getting the perfect words out of my mouth, why don't I put my fucking faith in something greater than myself? Why don't I put my fucking faith in the idea that thoughts are going to determine my actions? I've taken this in a completely different direction than where it started, but meditation teaches you to pick up on those subconscious thought patterns that have been playing out in your head for years. It could have been one little moment and it doesn't even have to be like a traumatic experience. It could be some little fucking thing that affects the way you act today by the fucking ripple effect. And the way you start meditating is through your daily actions. You can practice it 15 minutes sitting on the edge of your bed and just being still. But the idea is not just to do it for those 15 minutes. The idea is to translate it into a way of life so that you are constantly in a meditative state. Start small, start eating in silence. Start taking 15 minutes out of your day to do nothing. I'm running an experiment because I've been noticing the more time I step back, the less I do, the more productive I become. The lower I set my goals, the more I achieve them. And I really believe like before I put out this one of this one of these Instagram posts that went viral, the one that went viral. The weeks before that. Bro, I literally I sold my car. And then I pretty much it was almost like I gave up on the idea of making money or I didn't even care about it anymore, right? I, I gave up on the idea of making money. I feel like that was the universe lending me a helping hand with that post that went viral. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram to see what I'm talking about. Before that, I had put out over 400 fucking reels, but I hadn't fully aligned my intentions. And once you fully align your intentions, the universe just starts giving you all sorts of blessings and gifts and shit. Literally before that, I remember like a couple days before that, I literally just rode my bike out to this park and was just laying out there, like doing nothing. 
but I kind of came to the, the like the realization that I don't really need a lot of money. And if I live like this for the rest of my life, I'll be cool with that. And at that point, put out one post that goes viral. And I'm inclined to believe that it's not just a coincidence. Because I've seen it in both directions. I think as guys, we look at shit, we look at shit way too literally. We don't look at shit with the, with the spiritual connotation. And because of that, there's a lot of shit that we just can't understand. We end up falling into the same traps as everybody else. You gotta start looking at shit, understanding things from energy, from thoughts. That's the way you gotta start looking at things. I, I, I fucking can't stand. I talk to you guys so often. You guys look at everything so literally. You look at everything so literally. Start trying to comprehend things on a greater level. Because at the end of the day, everything comes down to mindset. Everything. Your physical body is a manifestation of your inner thoughts. You think I ended up with this fucking body? No, I aligned myself. Nine, 10 years ago, I made the decision, I wanna be jacked as fuck. And I continue to make that decision every single day. Even when I was strung out on drugs, even when I would be going into the gym on lines of fucking Adderall, my heart thumping. I'd still be going in, even when my anxiety was crazy because all my fucking GABA inhibitors or whatever the fuck you call it, that regulate anxiety, were just fried from all this annex I was taking. I was still going into the gym. I made that conscious decision every day, even when I was at my lowest. And that's one thing I can look back on proudly now. So the way I look at it now, is let me just make this conscious decision to align myself every single day. Because my theory is that one day I'm gonna look back at this and my, and my viewers may look back at this and realize that everything I said was 100% true. And I'm gonna give you the path to be able to break free. But it's all about alignment. It's all about meditation. It's all about controlling your own thoughts. The, the, the physical world is a manifestation of your inner thoughts. If you don't believe me, go look at a fucking building. You think that building just arise there? You think that somebody just started building with no intentions of what they were building? It started with a thought, it started with an intention. Just like another life form, it started with an intention. One person saw another and said, I wanna drop my seed in that person. I wanna create another life. Thoughts, thoughts are so fucking powerful, guys. But you, you think like me, you're way too literal. And you don't believe in that feminine ass spirituality shit, right? But because of that, you look at everything too literally. You gotta have a balance to both. Thoughts are going to determine the outside world. 
literally. So if I can give you one piece of advice, meditate. If I can only give you one piece of advice with my fucking time on earth, meditate. That's it. That's the topic for this video.